Hi everyone, welcome back to Budget with V. My name is V. I'm a 26 year old Australian um, who makes budgeting videos here on YouTube and cash stuffing. So for today's video, um, it's just a quick sort of check in. I haven't been recently sort of tracking my expenses on the little calendar thing that I was doing just because I didn't find it was actually adding much value to, for me. And what I've been doing is tracking via like an Excel spreadsheet, which isn't that much fun to show you. So for today, all I'm just going to do is just restuff for um, the groceries for the week. I'm a little bit late because I've been away for work. So it's now Saturday and I usually restuff on Thursday. So um, because I've had some food paid for through work and stuff, hopefully we won't need as much food. Um, and just go through sort of my fortnightly budget for when I next get paid next week. So let's get straight into it. Um, the first thing I've got is just some rollover coins. I've got, I think it was $1.60 or something. So 70, 90, 140, 150, 165. So I'm going to put, ugh, that's disgusting. Um, I'm gonna put this into my coin challenge. Uh, so let's get this one out. This one is from The Art of Budgeting. Um, so I've got a dollar fifty here, which I'm I know I've got a dollar sixty five, but I'll just put that in. So I'll do another one of them. And and then let it dry. Oh, I just smudged it. Okay. So pop that in there. So that's that dealt with. The next thing is my cash for the week. So um, I've still got, so I've spent a little bit more than half of my food budget. So I've got $100 left and what I'm going to actually do, so in here we've got our anniversary, which is we leave for our little anniversary weekend away slash one night away um, tomorrow. And so this money in here, which I've got 20 40 45 $50 in here. This is for food. Um, and I'm actually going to add um, half of our grocery budget in here. So then I've got $100. So I'm going to take this cash with us and I'm going to actually just give myself 50 for groceries. Hopefully that will be enough. I'm just going to get some like basics and then if I need more, I might go... I could use this $5 miscellaneous um, and I might go over budget, but I hope I don't um, and it might eat into this anniversary money. But if it does, that's okay. We'll just, I don't think we'll need probably a hundred dollars, but yeah. Anyway, so this 50 can go into my wallet and that's everything in here. Still got, nothing's really changed. Since, oh, I made this little envelope for Digimon. My husband, Josh, he makes, uh, he um, plays Digimon with Digimon cards and he wants to start putting a little bit out of his fun money each fortnight into here. So I'll help him with that. But otherwise, all good. So we'll put that away. The next thing, I know this video is a little bit all over there, all, all over the place, but it's just a few things I needed to be doing really. I'm just showing you. So the next thing is taking out my 100 envelope and I'm going to be um, popping some of this money into the bank. So I don't need to do a, like a full on cash condensing with all of my envelopes because I've done that pretty recently. But in here, I've got um, quite a lot of cash, which I'm going to take and put in the bank slash use for my next cash stuffing. But um, so I don't have to take it all out of the bank. Sorry, you can hear my dogs. So um, I'm going to be changing this to uh, some placeholders. So in here we've got oh, we've got 
50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. So I'm going to be taking out this cash and popping in 300 in placeholders. These placeholders are from, uh, oh, sorry, um, Budget with Sass. And they're beautiful. I love them so much. Um, so I'm just going to place them in there. Um, and I'm going to take out my binder and for now I'll just pop this into the bank this little folder envelope okay so in here we now have 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 270, 80, 385, 90, 95, 4, 4 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 425 here. Um, and so I'll put, um, like I have a separate bank account for like our travel fund because that's what that 100 envelope is going towards. We've actually made a little bit of a change to our plan. Like we were going to go try and do like a larger overseas trip next year. Um, but just with the prices of things, it's just going to be too, too much money. So we're actually going to, we're planning on um, going on a cruise instead overseas, like maybe somewhere closer, like New Zealand or like Fiji or something like that, which would be beautiful. And then maybe go overseas like on a longer trip the following year. So 2025. Um, so that's what that 100 envelope challenge will be for because that saves, I think, five grand, which is well and truly enough for it's probably double what we need for a cruise. So um, that feels way more achievable. I'm not as stressed about trying to save for it now. Um, and it just means like we can actually achieve it and still go on something really fun and exciting. I was thinking of putting my other little savings challenge that I'm using for Josh's passport. And if he needs to go to Bali for one of his friends, um, birthdays, but I'm still going to keep that separate. So I was going to combine it, but I think I'll still keep it separate for now. So I'll just put that back in there and close this one up now. That's all done. The final thing I want to show you is just my little budget for Fortnite 3 um, of March because this, um, I don't know if you can see, um, this coming Fortnite starts on the 30th and goes till the 12th of April um, and we get paid three times this month instead of the usual twice so um i've just got in here so i'll just run you quickly through it so i've got my electronic sinking funds over here and my cash stuffing here so electronic and sinking funds i've got 1145 for the mortgage 300 towards utilities 34 for subscriptions 70 for internet 30 for phones 35.50 for water connection 37.50 for home and contents 94.50 for rates, like a rate sinking one. Towards the dogs, I always put dog instead of dogs. 100, vet 194. That is the final amount towards that vet bill. And then we'll be back and pay that back fully. So that's really great for the end of the month. 22 towards health insurance, 100 for health, 200 for dentist, 100 for petrol, 90 for car service, 25 for car insurance, 26 for Red Joe, 300 towards paying back the account, 50 towards tax, 50 towards professional membership, two towards gym, and 50 towards our emergency fund. Um, you may notice our wage has gone up a little bit, which is just temporary. It's going to actually reduce overall from April, um, just because 
changes to our like tax and stuff. Um, in cash envelopes, I'm going to have five towards gifts, 360 towards groceries and 20 towards dog food, 25 towards Christmas, 10 towards uh, um, home stuff, five for miscellaneous, 400 for fun, 20 towards long term sinking fun for dog emergency, 20 towards travel and five towards coffee. So that's sort of a little bit of a plan. Um, with this paying back the account, we've done really well. We're, I think now almost below the, we're almost below 2000 with this payment. So, um, once we are able to sort of fund that back to zero, we'll be able to put a lot more money into travel like that. 300 will just go straight into travel from like July. So, um, and if we, earn anything extra it's going towards that paying back the account so it's hopefully going to be not too much longer of um, putting huge amounts chunks into that and being able to put more into emergency fund and travel our mortgage payments are going to go up a little bit more just with rising interest rates but that's fine we can adjust for that so I guess that's all from me I just it's a very quick video today I just wanted to do sort of a check-in one that really suits like helping me and with my sort of what helps in my mind sort things out and refresh myself for the following week, um, especially after such a busy week at work, being away and all of that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned. I'll be doing another cash stuffing video, which are my favorite um, next week. So stay tuned for that, but otherwise, have a good rest of your day. Bye.